Yeah. Commissioner? Everything all set? Ready to go. Except none of the men you're on are going to be here. I've got that covered. That's even better than I remember. Because I'm making up for lost time. Hmm. I wish we could keep doing that. Still asleep. Is there any chance that you and I can go back upstairs? Uh, no. Bo called. He wants to go over to the station to give statements. You know, I had a feeling Cole wasn't really doing community service, but working undercover for John? <laughs> wow. Wow, indeed. You know, it doesn't say here how his cover got blown. Do you know? Surprise. Congratulations! <laughs> you guys are very embarrassing. Oh, why? You're awesome, Oliver. Yeah, yeah, man, you gotta own it. Uh, I don't deserve this, especially not from you. Forget about that already. We're celebrating whether you like it or not. Christian got up at the crack of dawn, bought the newspaper, I did the frame and balloons. Cool, right? Yeah, we made you a huge breakfast, so you better be hungry. Uh, this is this is really too much. Come eat. You don't want to be late for work. No, I am not going in today. I am taking my first day off since I joined the force. Sorry. Sorry. Bo called. You have to go in today. Former Navy SEAL, Lieutenant Brody Lovett, despite being seriously wounded, managed to fight off his assailant. And because of his effort, Star Manning and Hope Manning Thornhart were rescued. Uninjured. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. Charlie. Thank you for coming to see me. I think you have an idea how much Star and Hope mean to us. And Bertie, you saved their lives. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah. Oh, stop. Face it. You're a hero. Yes, you are, Brody. Jessica's absolutely right. I'm delighted to see you looking so well. <laughs> yeah, and we just have to get you up and walking. Too bad you couldn't make it to the police station today. Why? Oh, I don't know. For some reason, Bo wanted us to all go down there. To you. David, what are you doing here? What are you kidding? It's bring your kid to work day. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> you have to get out of here and take them with you. But today is the day after a major, dangerous drug bust. And I want to hear firsthand how justice is served for my dad, the hero. baby daughter are alive and well this morning thanks to the commissioner of police my father talk about bravery talk about personal sacrifice those drug dealers could have brought this town to its knees but you wouldn't have it no you wouldn't I can honestly say that I have never been more proud of someone than I am of my father right this very moment except for maybe myself when I landed that reality TV show gig 
Pop, can you hear me? How the hell did you get in here, David? We have a permit from the mayor. Oh, from the mayor? The one that's locked up downstairs for corruption, illegal drug trafficking, attempted murder? Well, I'm glad we got that permit nice and early. Yeah, but you got it from him. Now it's null and void. Dad, come on. Can't you make an exception? For your firstborn son, I finally have a chance to be somebody. Yeah, somebody locked up next to the mayor down there in his cell. Keep it up. Mm-hmm. Classic transference. You're mad at Matthew for suing you, so you're taking it out on me. Listen, I'm not mad at, at anybody yet, but you and your reality TV show are gonna have to go now. All right, uh, guys, it, it's okay. I'll, I've got an idea. Hey, you better. Now get out now or I'll throw you all in jail. Come on, Pa. No, I'm talking, now. I'm not gonna say it again. All right, go. What are those? Those are medals of honor. Can I see one? Please. Wow. No, Look at that. David. Dad, no, what? I know you. What the hell are you doing? Dad, just trust me on this. Trust me. Come here a second. Listen. If I know my dad, he didn't get himself one of these. But from what I read about what you did last night, you deserve one just as much as those guys on the front page of the paper. Oh, that was some big drug bust last night. The cops did an amazing job. That they did. Hey, I haven't seen you around. I figured maybe you and Fish got back together again. No, that, that's not gonna happen. Never. That's too bad. He's a cutie, that fish. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm dating somebody else now. Really great guy. So, me and Fish, it's over. You know what? It's probably better that I go in today. It'll keep my mind off the fact that my parents are coming tomorrow. Tomorrow? Your parents are coming tomorrow? Yeah, I know, right? And they're dying to meet my new girlfriend. Oh, boy. Sorry. Very funny. No, but seriously, man, come on. You're a big hero now. Y your parents can't ignore that. No. I could save a dozen mothers and their kids, and my parents will still freak out if they find out I'm gay. Speaking of that, Christian got you something he thought might help. <laughs> this is... Wait a second. You think that I should come out to my parents? Don't you? So, we heard that Bo offered you a position with the police department. Well, I still need some training, but, but with my time on the SEALs and my work on the bus last night. But I made a deal with Jessica. Oh, Ernie. No, 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 no. It's okay. No, I mean it. If you're not comfortable with me being a cop, I'll drop out. You just say the hey, word. Hey, I can handle it. I just want you to be happy. I must say, I had no idea you were working undercover. That was kind of the point, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Just don't make me laugh. Well, tell them what you had to do. What? He, he had to pretend that he was a strung out drug addict. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> to make it look like Cole was being pressed for more drugs. I just wish I could have kept his cover from getting blown. No. Might have prevented what happened. No, no, there's no way you could have prevented that. Somebody told the mayor about Cole. Really? Well, that person should be locked up right alongside the mayor. You must have been traumatized by the experience. It was horrible, really, but everything's okay now, except for Sean. Is there any way that maybe he could wake up out of that coma? No one can say that with certainty. What, what does that mean? The kind of coma that he's in. Oh. The prognosis is not good. Those guys were here because the mayor was trying to get back at Cole, right? But how did your cover even get blown in the first place? I don't know. But uh, somehow the mayor found out. It was my fault. I told my dad because he got really 
mad that he thought that Cole was selling drugs. So your dad's responsible for everything that's happened? No. no. Much as I always like to blame Todd for anything that happens, I can't. Why not? Because I did it. I'm the one who told the mayor about you. You put Cole, Hope, and me in danger so that you could suck up to the mayor and his jerk son? I humbly apologize and I ask for your forgiveness. I think my issues of trust have been effectively dealt with. That's good. Maybe I should have let you slip in. You were tossing and turning last night. I'm sorry if I kept you awake. No, 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 you're thinking about Sean. Nothing more you could have done. He might be dead right now if you hadn't found him. Sean's in that condition because a criminal was able to get a gun and that criminal shot him. It's not because of anything you did or didn't. If anyone was to blame, it's that creep blue Cole's cover. I have to get my hands on who would put my son and grandchild and Star in danger. Star, I'd never do anything knowingly to hurt you. You have to believe that. Cole, do you forgive me? You know what? You telling the mayor about me really isn't that big of a deal after everything that's happened. I mean, he was about to find out anyway. I mean, it's, it's not nothing, but I know you didn't mean for anyone to get hurt. We all know that. Star? It was clueless. Nicole's right. I'm sure you didn't mean to hurt anyone. So Jessica tells me you're Vicky's campaign manager. Yeah, I guess I am. And he is very, very good at well, it. Well, it's pretty hard to be bad at it. Now that Lowell's locked up, this election should be a piece of cake. Wait, uh -uh. no one's running against you? No, not so far. But darling, it's early yet, you know? The thing is, I'm not going to have anyone to debate, which is a shame, because I was really looking forward to that. <gasps> oh, my mother, the mayor. Oh. That's excellent. Thank you, sweetheart. But in spite of Charlie's optimism, let us not assume that I've got this all sewn up. Oh, in case someone else joins the race? Well, that, but right now, because the mayor refuses to drop out. Yeah, which is crazy, because the guy's being held without bail. Oh, somebody should really convince him to resign. They've tried. His lawyers, his advisors, everyone close to him have <laughs> tried. He refuses. Yeah. And I wonder if Dorian has anything to do with that. Look, you know who I blame most of all is Lowell. If you could have gotten away with this, you wouldn't care if we all died. I can't even believe he's not resigning. What kind of head trip is he on? Oh, he's an arrogant narcissist. He's never been held responsible for anything he's ever done. Remember when he had Bo fired from the police department and he hired that horrible Lee Ramsey? Yeah, but as I recall, you were all for that. Nonsense. What did he say when you told him you quit? Well, you did quit, didn't you? You aren't still working for him? I will, as soon as I have the chance. Are you when, joking? When, when you have the chance? That guy tried to have Cole killed. And when that didn't work, he had his goons come in here, shoot Sean, and kidnap Star and Hope. You're right. Where are you going? I'm going to go get changed. I'm going to find the mayor. And I am going to quit. But not before I get that bastard to do the first honorable thing he's done since he became mayor. Resign! It's not like you to take the day off. Actually, I'm rethinking it. Why? Because I have to go into work? I will sit around here all day staring at the walls. Kind of defeats the purpose. Well, I know I should be. I'm talking you into taking the time, but it's kind of like you to have to be with me. Well, you know I have more than one. Yeah, okay, we'll save them up. Maybe we'll go on a trip. Maybe we will. But you really should go into work.
work today. Why is that? Hmm? Is there something I don't know? Oh, me? What would I know? Something you're not telling me? <sighs> there he is. Landview's no-nonsense hero. Looks like you got lucky. Saving Marty Saybrook's grandbaby really paid off for you. Huh? So this new guy, is he a keeper? Maybe. I mean, he's a great guy. I like him enough to try to straighten up my act. So to speak. Well, Natty and Jared dropped the charges. That ought to help. Yeah, and I, and I talked to the dean of the med school. Um, managed to get readmitted and to get my record expunged, so... Looks like I'm actually gonna graduate this year. Right on. I always have faith in you. No, you don't. <laughs> All right, I'm full. What do I do now? Um, since Dr. Michael's gone, we need a new doctor in Angel Square. If they'll have me. Oh, they'll have you if I have anything to say about it. And I got a lot to say about it. <laughs> you know, part of me just wishes I could tell Oliver, you know? I told the guy I'm dating that I'm some kind of loser. That tried to warn him off of me. Is he jealous? Not that he knows of. So deep in the closet, he thinks he has a girlfriend. One reviewer called it an essential survival guide for coming out. Yes, I see that. <laughs> I hope it's okay. I didn't want to freak you out. But with your parents coming, it just no, seemed... I, I get it. You know, my mom saw it. She thought it was mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, how'd that work out for you? <laughs> well, she was kind of bummed when I told her I wasn't gay. She thought it explained everything about me. Yeah, she really did. Oh, wait a second. You didn't tell her that it was for me, did you? Because you guys are the only two that know. We didn't say anything. But do you really want to keep this a secret? You know, this is, this is really nice of you guys, and I'm sure there's some great stuff in here, but with my folks, it doesn't really matter how I say it. They're going to hear the word gay and go off. I'm sorry, Oliver. Yeah, you know, me too. I gotta, I gotta get ready for work. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I gotta cover for my mom at the diner. Thanks. You guys are... Thank you. Meet Detective John Make My Day McBain. What are you doing, Vickers? Whose black duds only add to his renegade image. He's a man of few words, but his actions speak much louder. Sit than down! Get out of here! Watch that suit! Cost more than your salary. You shouldn't push me. My dad's your boss. You. Whoa, hey, dude, the mic's off. Marco? I stopped filming it. Hello. Beat it. Crying out loud. I, I gotta go. Why? There's no way I'm missing my first college class. This is where we part ways. What? The budget's gone. Ugh, oh, I had a feeling that would happen. That's a bummer. Well, good luck, guys. Well, now look you done, Ford. You cost us our camera guy. That's a wrap. We're done, David. I, I, I don't even know what to say. That was just so... Stupid? <laughs> Tell me again why I should go to work today. Just promise me you'll go. That's not an answer. Just go. Okay, I will. Thank you. Why, why am I even wearing a suit? We're just going to the police station. Because we're not sneaking around or, you know, pretending to be anything other than what we are, which is a family, and I want us to make an entrance. Got it. <laughs> what do you think, Mom? <gasps> See? Your daughter got all dressed up, too. Look at you. You are gorgeous. <laughs> If I knew it was this important to you, I would have worn a tux. Cool. And, and I hate wearing a tux. <laughs> you look great. Let me go put the babysit in the car. Okay. Look. He has no idea. Well, he doesn't need to know the whole truth yet. We'll be watching you on TV. <laughs> the media is certainly out in force. Does this have to do with the mayor? Oh, is that why you're here? Dorian, you want to put a little spin on your candidate's uh, illegal activities? No, I'm here to tell him that I'm withdrawing my support. Good move. So, if this brouhaha is not about the mayor, then what is it about? Beats me. Unless maybe they heard that uh, you're the one that blew Cole Thornhart's cover. No, kidding. 
this kid. They're not here for you or the mayor. Nobody really gives a damn what that jerk has to say now. Unless, of course, he wants to announce his resignation. Why don't I just take you down there, show you where we got him locked up? Oh, my... Telling the mayor about Cole was a terrible mistake, but an honest one. You know that, don't you? you you're not going to lock me up in a cell, too, are you? Don't tempt me. The mayor's not resigning. Why not? Well, he says he's innocent until proven guilty. He thinks he can beat the rap. No, he's nuts. No, no, he was on tape telling a cop to kill Cole. Yeah. He's the reason that Sean Evans is in a coma. He put every cop on the force in danger. I mean, Brody's lucky to be alive. He was dealing with drug dealers that they kidnapped Star and Chloe. Hope. Hope. I meant to say hope. That just slipped out. I'm, it's okay, I'm sorry. It's talk about it. I know that, honey. It's okay. I know she's not my baby anymore. She never was, but I just, you know, when she was in danger, it just felt really awful. I was so scared. Of course you were. Darling, you love her. We all love her. When I was in the warehouse last night, all I could think about was you. And how scared you'd be knowing the baby was in that kind of danger. No matter who her parents are now, I, I know you love her. I didn't care what happened. I just had to get her out of there. I had to do that for you. And you did it, Brody. You did it. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I am so glad that you're here for this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm just swinging by. Remember? Uh, it's my first day of classes. I don't think I have time to hang. Oh, trust me, you have time for this. Cole's gonna be on TV. Oh, don't talk to me about people being on TV. I'm up to no, here with no, that. No, no, you'll love it, I promise. Hey, 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 little home. <laughs> Welcome to the land you police department. Oh, it's okay. Did you guys sleep last night? Um, yeah, so what, uh, what's up with all the press? Uh, everybody wants to know about the drug bust. Oh, so where do we go to give our statements? Well, why don't we wait until after the um, press conference, okay? And why don't you t just stand right over here? Hey, John? Yeah. Where are you going? My office, away from all this. Why don't you just stick around? Make sure I get all my facts straight. Oh, come on, Bo. You don't need me for that. Hey, Commissioner. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Why did you want to see me? Do you have a special assignment for me or something? Well, yeah, you could say that. Hey, well, what are you doing here? I thought you had to work. I lied. All your questions will be answered. <laughs> you three men. Stay right where you are. It's nice just to talk. I, I don't need a TV on. I do. Um, this so is a press conference. We bring you Commissioner Bo Buchanan, live from the Landview Police Department. I want to thank you all for being here today. And as Commissioner of the Landview PD, I've got to tell you that I have never felt more pride in this department than I feel today. As you know, last night, the Landview PD made a sizable drug bust. Now, we had a special task force working on this case. Commissioner, can you talk about the mayor's involvement in all this? No, no, I'm sorry, because uh, we're still putting all of that together. Well, what about the man who was seriously injured? Yes. That man was a security guard who put his life on the line, and now he's on life support. And I'd like to take a moment to force all to send our thoughts and prayers to him and his family. Today we're here to pay tribute to the heroic efforts of the people that worked on this case. But first I'd like to uh, acknowledge some heroic women who helped get Cole Thornhart, Officer Oliver Fish, 
and Detective John McBain here today. Now, these are very stubborn men. Now, they would rather barge right into a, a warehouse full of armed criminals than to be part of a ceremony that is held in their honor. So that's why, that's why I had to get some expert help to get them here today. Now, one of my men, Brody Lovett, is unable to be here, but I know that he is watching from his hospital bed where he's recuperating from uh, injuries that he received at that warehouse. And Brody, we wish all of us that you were here today. These men risked their lives to make Landview a safer place for everyone and to put a corrupt mayor behind bars. Now, I know that these men don't expect any special thanks, but I'm asking them to accept as one more part of the, the job my gratitude and the appreciation of all the citizens in Landview. Now, these men could have seen, and they very well could have seen, the danger involved in them going into that building. And they could have bailed out, but they didn't. Now, I've been told that courage tastes of blood. But these men, these brave heroes, they never flinched. They never tried to get that taste out of their mouths. They went beyond the call of duty to save Star and Hope Manning and to take Landview back from drug pushers. Cole Thornhart, would you step up here, please? Can I grab you a sec? I need you to sign off on a bunch of paperwork. Actually, I think I'm taking the day off. Why don't you do the same? Great. Yeah. Oh, they must have left. What a shame. Oh, pardon me. I'll be needing that. To set it back up. Thank you very much. All right, check, check, check. Uh, excuse me, everybody. May I have your attention? I have an important announcement to make about Mayor Lowell. I am Dorian Lord. And as the mayor's campaign manager, I felt it was incumbent upon me to convince him that the reign of corruption had to end. Last night when the news came out, we were all terribly shocked. My own family was deeply traumatized. So I convinced the mayor that he had to protect his son from any further embarrassment or hurt, and that most of all, all of Landview had to begin to heal. Luckily, he listened to me. So, effective immediately, I have Mayor Lowell's letter of resignation. Wait a minute, what, 
do you mean the show is over? It can't be over. You haven't met Roxanne Balsam. Roxy, how are you? Roxy is a little scene stealer. <laughs> but what a train wreck. Did you ever watch the Osbournes? That was good. Roxy's even better. You know what she did? She kidnapped my cousin Natalie Buchanan at birth, raised her in a trailer park. Hey, be kind, Vicar. Hey, this guy right here. Look at Christian Vega. He was once brainwashed and he speaks Spanish. You got a whole Latin market out there. Get him talking about why you went to prison. No thanks. Look, Ford, just stay with me. Hey, I have a new title for the show. Get this. Viva La Vida Vickers. Huh? That's great, right? Come on, there's gold to be mined in this town. David, the show is leaving Landview. Deal with it. Excellent. A location change. Where are we going? We're not going anywhere. You're not coming. Hey, superstar. Nice metal. <laughs> That's why Bull called you in, right? Yeah, I'm actually meeting a bunch of guys here from the department. We're going to celebrate. Right on. We'll bring them on. Oh, and Fish, your money's no good here today. Congratulations. You saw? Yeah, I mean, you can't miss it. It's on the paper, on the TV. About it. That uh, girlfriend has too. If she's not my girlfriend anymore. What happened? You know, I'm sure that you have a whole theory around it, right? I'm oh, sorry, I, I gotta take this. It's a uh, boyfriend. Hi. You okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, um, I think I'm gonna skip the whole celebration thing. Because of him. Look, man, you gotta hang. I mean, come on. Can you be uh, at least be proud of yourself for five seconds? Yeah, I'd like to. I, I really would. Huh. What do you know? For once, Dorian has used her powers for good. <laughs> and managed to steal the spotlight all at the same time. She just saw the writing on the wall. That's all. How's Brody doing? Considering what he went through, he's doing beautifully. It was lovely of you to honor him like this. All of them. Hmm. You know, I could have lost all of them. So, this is the least I could do. I gotta go. Vicky, you have congratulations coming your way, too. Yeah. Why? Because you're in line to be the new mayor of Lambview. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, I like the sound of that. Mayor Victoria Banks. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. No, hold on a second, Ford. Hold on. You can't fire me from my show. I am the show. Not anymore. Look, I'm done chasing people who won't sign release forms or, or, or sleeping in a barn with horses because we can't afford a hotel. And why? Because you bankrolled your brother's lawsuit with our entire budget. The deal's off. The contract says that you produce a reality show starring me. You signed it. Yeah, I know. We both did. But I guess only one of us reads the fine print. The contract also obligates me to produce a show about a man named David Vickers. You're not the only David Vickers in the world. What are you saying? You're replacing me with another... David Vickers? That's right. And he plays David Vickers. Much better than you. When Hope and I were in the warehouse, I know this is going to sound so corny, but I thought about the four of us and what it would be like if we were never together again. But we are. Only now we're five. <laughs> hey, Jess. Hi. I have something for you. You don't have to do that, sir. Oh, yes, I do. It's for both of us. See, I won't feel right in, until I give you this. For your bravery, your valor, and uh, your commitment to the Landview Police Department, I present you Brody Lovett with this Medal of Honor.
Cheese enchiladas, extra cheese. Comfort food. If you say so. To the breakfast? No, actually, we're a little lost. Well, where are you headed? Here. We're trying to surprise our son. This is my address. Wait, are you Mr. and Mrs. Fish? Yes, I'm George Fish. This is my wife, Barbara. We're Oliver's proud parents. No, don't well, yeah, waste your no, breath. No, no, Please, no, no, let's no. just I go. I gotta say this. You know, whatever you did, Dorian, to get the mayor to resign, I hope you know that that practically guarantees a win for Vicky. Now, I don't expect you to be happy about that for her, but, I mean, face it. Vicky is going to be Landview's next mayor. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. She's running unopposed. No, she's not. Okay. Who's running against me? <laughs> <laughs>